Spiral Symbolism and Meanings From the Latin spiralis or spira, and the Greek spira, meaning a spire or coil, or a conical or pyramidal structure, as well as from the Latin spirare, meaning to breathe as in expire and inspire. Spirals are all around us patterning our very existence, from microcosm to macrocosm, determining structures from the tiny vortices of subatomic particles and the DNA molecule to the awesome galaxies where stars are born and the conditions for life created. In mathematics there are the Archimedean spiral, the hyperbolic spiral, the Fermat spiral, the Lituus, the logarithmic spiral, the Cornu spiral or clodhoid, the Fibonacci spiral and golden spiral, and the spiral of Theodorus. It is a classical form symbolizing the orbit of the moon, and a symbol for growth. It is also a symbol of spiritual development and our identity with the universe. It is found in cultures all over the world and reflected in shamanism, serpent cults, dragon lore, geomancy, magic, mysticism, ritual art and dance throughout history. The archetypal image of the spiral came to render itself in the idea of a path that could be climbed in stages to reach God, a notion fundamental to both the Kabbalah and exponents of magic down the centuries, and made concrete in the two- and three-dimensional initiatory mazes which existed in antiquity. The spiral is associated with the idea of the dance, and especially with primitive dances of healing and incantation, when the pattern of movement develops as a spiral curve. Such spiral movements, closely related to the pattern of the mandala and to the spiral form that appears so frequently in art from the Mesolithic age onwards particularly in France, Ireland and England, may be regarded as figures intended to induce a state of ecstasy and to enable man to escape from the material world and to enter the beyond, through the hole symbolized by the mystic center. Striking examples of such spirals are those of Gravinias, Morbihan, New Grange, Leinster, Carnwath, Scotland, and Castle Archdall, Ulster. The walls of the entrance to megalithic burial chambers in many parts of Europe are covered with so-called spiral patterns, probably denoting the journey of the soul into the chamber itself. Mainly associated with fertility and birth. Religion was then devoted to the cult of the mother goddess, and the tomb chamber is thought to have symbolized her womb wherein the soul was reborn. Early votive figurines of the goddess have similar spirals in the genital area. Well-defined spiral patterns occur on Chinese funerary vases of the Neolithic period. The spiral also denoted water as an agent of fertility. It is a very common motif on pottery, especially water vessels. It became the principal motif on Cretan jars, 1700 to 1400 BC, often in the form of a running spiral, which is also found on drinking vessels from Byblos, Mycenae and, intermittently, in Egypt. In the Egyptian system of hieroglyphs the spiral, corresponding to the Hebrew Vav, denotes cosmic forms in motion, or the relationship between unity and multiplicity. The great ziggurat of Babylon, the original tower of Babel, was called the Admenemki, the Ad temple of the foundation of heaven and earth, and its holy summit was reached by a spiral path ascending through seven tiers. The septenary spiral has been interpreted as the world center motif employed by Shamhala, in Tibetan Buddhist tradition the mystical kingdom hidden in the Himalayas, to convey its once dominant position as a seat of wisdom and knowledge. Its relationship with lunar animals has been referred. Going right back to the most ancient traditions, we find the distinction being made between the creative spiral, rising in a clockwise direction, and attributed to Pallas Athene, and the destructive spiral like a whirlwind, which twirls round to the left, and is an attribute of Poseidon. Of a special importance in relation to the spiral are bonds and serpents. In Tantric Yoga, Kundalini, the Sanskrit word for spiral and which also suggests serpent power, rises through the body through a series of seven energy centers, or chakras, the aim being to activate this spiritual and psychic energy by using various yogic techniques, and raise it from the lowest to the highest chakra. In the book, Spirals, The Pattern of Existence, Jeff Ward refers that the provenance of all serpent and dragon symbolism, and its relationship to earth energies which dowsers detect as running in spirals, lies in the spiral form in nature, the significance of which was intuited by the adepts, magicians, or shamans of ancient times. 
the spiral is certainly one of the essential motifs of the symbolism of ornamental art all over the world, either in the simple form of a curve curling up from a given point, or in the shape of scrolls, or sigmas, etc. Parkin observes in his prehistoric art that no ornamental motif seems to have been more attractive than the spiral. It was suggested that, from a semantic point of view, the spiral is an emblem of atmospheric phenomena and of the hurricane in particular, but the fact is that the hurricane in its turn is a symbol of secession from the creative, as well as destructive, functions of the universe, that is, of the suspension of the provisional but pacific order of the universe. By virtue of its significance in connection with creation, with movement and progressive development, the spiral is an attribute of power, found in the scepter of the Egyptian pharaoh, in the litus of Roman augurs and in the present-day walking stick. In addition to the above, it is also possible that the spiral may symbolize the relationship between the circle and the center. To me, the spiral is the way of the universe, the link between microcosm and macrocosm, between science and spirituality, it's a uniting symbol right across nature and human culture, appearing as the sign of the eternal, creative and organizing principle at work in the universe, as well as the pattern of our spiritual development a key to the riddle of existence and the inner essence of reality. Jeff Ward Like and subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks for watching.